Hello, my name is Bill, and today it's all about making wraps. Wraps are a great, a great way to use up stuff in the refrigerator. It's an easy meal, it's something fun, it can be a lunch, it can be a dinner, whatever you want. I never ate a wrap until I saw it on menus, and I realized they were all sort of mediocre. Like I didn't really get what it was all about. So I ventured out and decided to make my own. I always have tortilla shells in the refrigerator or in my pantry. And I tend to have just regular flour tortilla shells because I, I make a lot of enchiladas and other, other Mexican food. But certainly, if, if, you, if your focus is wraps, you can use the flavored ones. I like the spinach, I like the tomato. Either one would work for this. So the problem is, is that most people think it's too hard to make dressing. I do not use dressing from a jar or a bottle. They all kind of mediocre, mediocre, stink, stink, stink. So I make ranch dressing. I think this is the easiest, best way to make some ranch dressing. Basically, people think it's really tough to do. I'm going to show you how to make it so easy. And the question I always get is, well, how do you measure a cup of mayonnaise? You've got those piston things, you can fill it up, but there's always air and it's never accurate. First of all, I'm here to tell you that I don't think your numbers have to be exact. You could, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it by displacement. But this is such good ranch dressing. In fact, if I have wings, I make my own. If I have wraps, I make my own. This is just a good way to make a dressing. So first of all, I've got real buttermilk. This is the real McCoy, it's not fat-free buttermilk. Don't hike to have such a thing, but I think I saw it in the store one day or below for that. So the key to this, I need, I got a four quart, a one quart, four cup measure, and I'm just gonna put a cup. Cup of butter. That is so perfect. So I said we're going to do this by displacement. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add mayonnaise until the measuring cup, cup comes up to two cups. Now they're kind of like icebergs, they kind of flow, so you have to be a little conscious of that it's not going to be exactly up to two when there's actually a cup in here. I've made this many times. Okay. So, I've got my packet. Just put it on top here. And all we're going to do is we're going to incorporate this. Take a fork. Start mixing it in. You don't want to whisk this, you don't want to put it in a blender because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to destroy all the thickening agent. And the cultures in the buttermilk are actually, are enzymes that are actually going to smooth this out for you. So you just want to make sure that after you get everything incorporated, we're going to kind of stir it with our pour just to get the big lumps out. That's really all we have to do. The menu, uh, <clears throat> Hidden Valley says that you need to refrigerate at least half an hour. I find you really need to refrigerate for about an hour. That'll give it plenty of time to kind of thicken and smooth out. So I just have these little, little teeny lumps in here. And it's not dressing lumps. And because you floated the mayonnaise on top of the buttermilk, you're not trying to scrape the mayonnaise from the bottom of the, the measuring cup. I used to do that. I used to put my, my mayonnaise in first and then pour my buttermilk out and I was like, 
Yeah. After a few times I got smart and realized this is the best way to do it. Okay. So like I said, this is easy. We're gonna cover it, put it in the refrigerator for an hour. Once it's done, we're gonna start putting together some wraps. You know, it's, it's after Thanksgiving. I got plain turkey, I'm gonna get some out of the freezer, and we're just gonna show you how we're gonna use up some of the stuff in the fridge and make some great wraps. So, so as soon as we can, let's move on to part two. All right. My dressing is all ready. It's been in the refrigerator for an hour. It's nice and thick, just the way a good ranch dressing should be. So now let's start the assembly of my turkey bacon wrap. So I have a tortilla here. It's just a plain white flour tortilla. I'm going to add a little fresh turkey from Thanksgiving that I've had in the freezer. Got a little chopped bacon that I fried up. I'm gonna throw a little cheese on top. This is just Colby Jack. You can use whatever you want. So, at this point, yes, you could throw in the microwave you know, 20, 30 seconds, uh, just to warm it up. Especially if the if the tortilla shell's a little stale. But this is nice and fresh and it's gonna roll just fine. So I'm just gonna leave it just like this. All right, so I've got a little beef steak tomato that I chopped up here. It's all about the veggies with the wrap. Got a little red onion I chopped. sliced up some nice fresh Haas avocado. They're in season so you can put them in just about anything. I'm going to show you <clears throat> later on in another video how I, how I cut avocados open. I get asked that sometimes. Lastly, I like a little cucumber on mine. I know a lot of people say, oh, I can't eat cucumber. Well, <clears throat> the thing with cucumber, it gives you a little tummy distress. It's usually the seeds. I know my father's the same way. So I'm going to show you really quickly how we're going to cut all that seed out. I've got a cucumber that I've already peeled in half. <clears throat> if you like, you can leave the, the skin on. That's fine. I'm just going to cut it in half again so I've got a quarter. And all you have to do, I'm going to take my blade uh, right along an angle. Now there's absolutely no seeds. In fact, I'm going to get the seeds off my cutting board and I don't want to accidentally put it on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it lengthwise into pieces. I'm going to turn it. Just make some nice little chopped pieces. Don't have to be particular about the size. The size of what you're cutting is really only pertinent if you're cooking because you want things to be equally sized but for something like this it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead pull a cucumber here on my, my wrap. I said this is just another way to use up some of that turkey left over and of course it's all about the veggies. You can see I've got my plate loaded up. As you can see, this dressing is nice and thick. Got a little dressing on here. Shell. Wrap it up. We've got a meal ready to eat.
A restaurant they stick a Q-tip. I mean, a toothpick through it. Um, so that's really all there is to it. This is something that I would probably drink with a, well, uh, you can, a nice dry rosé would go well with this. And um, that's really all I have and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks and have a great day.